Ahoy Rum Explorers! I'm Nia, I'm a rum enthusiast, and it is rum time! <laughs> Okay, so as you can see, we have a very large haul today with a very big box. We visited, if you follow me on IG, you probably saw that we visited Chain Bridge Distillery. They are in Oakland Park. They're a very cool distillery. Yeah. Um, new. Bila, yeah. new. Bila, the owner and uh, master distiller there, took amazing care of us. So we're actually going to start today retrying I was gonna call it or maybe re-reviewing everything yeah. with a nice fresh palette he has a ton of amazing very unique spirits okay so we're gonna start with the silver rum I'm gonna let you do the honors this is a, his very first rum yeah. and um, a couple of very unique facts about this distillery that kind of connected with me on a very very deep basis is the fact that Bila the head distiller is taking recipes and has a very long history in the spirit world. His family, especially his grandfather, he's taking a lot of the brandy recipes that you can try at this distillery from his grandfather. And you guys know I love my grandpa. If you followed me on IG, this was the first year that I made the Ponche Navideño, which turned out amazing with the purser's rum. So let's go ahead and start with the silver rum. Gonna move this big bad boy out of the way. An uneventful pop. <laughs> yeah. And this he made with 100% Florida molasses, right? Yes. Yeah, so it was all from Florida. I believe Central Florida is where he got the molasses from. Uh, and we did have this at the distillery before, and it was very impressive. Uh, but we have a bottle of our own now, and we're going to give it a taste. These bottles are numbered uh, for the batch. Each batch he does, you'll number these bottles. Uh, so that way, uh, when you have a bottle, you know which batch is, uh, is from the distillery, which batch number. And this is actually batch number four. You could definitely smell the molasses in this, so it's very, very um, on the sweeter side. And the other very cool thing is he has a pot and column stilled with electronic features if you want to go ahead and check out the vlog i'll link that above so you can look at the actual tour that'll give you a complete breakdown of how he processes everything so since we're starting with the rum we're going to keep it nice and sweet and short yeah so cheers cheers molasses smells straight up it's very very clear Smooth. It's got that molasses flavor, uh, but it's not an overwhelming molasses flavor. It's a very smooth, clean uh, uh, silver rum. And not a big hug. Uh, I, yeah, I, the first time I tried it, I didn't get a forty percent. Forty percent. Forty percent. This is batch number four. Yeah. Not not that much of a hug, if if any. Uh, I don't get any hug. I don't get any. Uh, kind of uh, alcohol flavor uh, at the at the end of the sip so it's very impressive it's a very impressive silver rum yeah this could definitely I could see myself drinking this neat because even though it's smooth and it's clear there are some very unique characteristics of this particular rum to where I could see myself Sipping it neat if yeah. I if I wanted to. Absolutely. I'm sure it makes a superb mixer. We didn't yeah. try any cocktails that day, um, but definitely let's add some ice to this. Yeah, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful rum. And just a couple because it really 
Doesn't need any. Doesn't need too much. Just to, you know, cool it down a little. Just open up those, those flavors a little bit. And amazing and very cool stuff on the labeling. Um, he said all of the labels have very unique characteristics and hidden things in the label, so make sure you keep an From eye on From the distillery, like. I would call it an homage to his distillery, but what are you trying to call it? A hidden egg? Yeah, something like that. A hidden Mickey? No, not a hidden Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> um, Alright, let's try it with a little bit of ice. Do you remember what this labeling had? I had the color of the flooring. Is on the is the gray of the back label. Correct. Uh, he had, I guess he had the, it looks like some screw heads or maybe rivets from the actual stills or the uh, the hybrid still as he calls it uh, from the machinery that he uses to distill it uh, and there's something else that I don't quite recall on this one nothing but you can see the sugar cane here like a picture of the sugar cane and the other very cool thing is there's a lion and because they're from Hungary um, apparently there's a very famous bridge of, in Budapest that has that lion at the entrance and if you follow me on IG you would have seen a quick video which I panned the entire like hang the tasting on. room yeah the tasting yeah. room that's what it's called so if you if I if you see my pan which I'll try to insert it here you'll see that it starts with a beautiful mural with uh, Chambridge distillery on the name and then the lions the and the bridge, bridge. yeah the actual bridge which was very there. cool yeah. okay so I get a little bit more molasses on the nose with the with the ice but it's 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 very unique yeah the molasses it comes through so clear interesting thing that he talked about was that the yeast he uses is from the Caribbean mm -hmm. and I was telling him I feel like that's what's also giving it such a unique taste for a silver rum because we're not very big fond people of like silver rum right no. mm -hmm. but this is delicious it's very unique so ready to move on to the next bottle sure okay so i think this is the first rum that he distilled right correct okay so his family recipes are based on brandy he had some fruit brandies right yeah fruit, fruit brandies, brandies yeah. he um so we did start with some vodkas there as well which were incredible like award-winning vodkas by the way Let's wait for that pop. There Ooh, best sound ever. Yeah, that was a good pop. Yes, using the silver rum, aged two years in oak charred barrels. Brand spanking new oak charred barrels. The other thing is that he had the pot, the pot stills and the columns shipped from Hungary, which I thought was like, yeah. oh my god, like they were specifically made for him. So. The way he controls absolutely everything in that distillery is so impressive. Everything had technology, innovation, yeah. I the feel colorings. Like, yeah, I feel like the story behind the way he's distilling, uh, how he was, how he started, how he was, uh, how he brought that to the United States. Because all of the machinery he has, the big machinery uh, that he has, was actually shipped over from Hungary. Uh, to make these fruit um, uh, spirits that his grandpa used to make. So all of these machines were actually built in Hungary and then shipped here and he's using them to create different... Uh, but the whole story behind uh, how he started is very intriguing. Um, the machinery is all connected wirelessly, right? He monitors everything on the internet. Uh, that way he has constant monitoring of what's going on. It's 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 very cool And I believe that the still is a hybrid still. I'm not quite sure exactly uh, What he called it uh, I do remember him saying it was like a hybrid type of, uh, of distillery uh, Pot versus column thing. Uh, it's very cool The other very cool thing is this is definitely gonna tailor to the most pickiest Rum snobs. If that's you, you're gonna like this. He has absolutely no sugar added, no flavorings added. This is totally natural. Coloring is just from the aging of the straight up oak. He uses brand new oak barrels. I know it's a very juvenile rum, but it is for the age. 
It's amazing. Cheers. So you definitely get the, the sweetness of the molasses. But there is some oakiness to it. The oak for me is just hits me right in the front, right in the nose. The first thing I smell is the oak. But it's a young oak, it's not an aged oak. I don't get a chocolate smell out of it and I don't get a caramel smell out of it. I get I get a, a, an oaky kind of smell out of it. Yes, yeah, straight up oak. Anything else? I think this is also 40 or 43%. Oh shoot, yeah, 42 alcohol by volume, 84 proof. This is what he calls a Flora Barrel Age Rum. These are only sold at the distillery, right? Yeah, I don't believe he's selling these yeah. at uh, Total Wine yet, but you can you can pick them up at the uh, at the tap room. Or at yeah, the, if you're in Florida, head room. down, they're definitely worth the drive. Very, very worth it. So let's go ahead and try this again. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. And yeah. to me, straight up cinnamon. Yeah, I, I do get the sweetness now from the molasses of the silver rum, uh, and uh, it's it's not it's not a sweet like a like a sugar was added or anything was added. It was just to me, it just tastes like the aging in 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 the, the barrel. Yeah, for sure. But it tastes like a very nice, light spiced rum. To me, it tastes like cinnamon. Do you wanna bring out the spiced rum for me, please? Yeah. So we can try it out, I'm dying of curiosity. I know we haven't busted out this bad boy in a long time, but we have been trying rums that are very potent and that I feel like you could definitely, it's very, Easy to discern the different flavors and everything, so. What do you want to try? 20. Let's try a spice. Spice. And I might go like um, a little bit different this time, and I might bring out some straight up cinnamon just to compare. Some organic cinnamon. Because the spice on the Roma Roma training kit, which is number 20, it's kind of like a, what I call like a peppery spice which I feel like this is not. This is kind of like a cinnamon. It is not like a fireball. <laughs> you can bring up the oak. Oak, oak tannic. So I don't get, I mean, it is a, it is a nice smooth rum. Um, I don't know that I would want to mix this rum with anything. I think just neat. Yeah, neat or, um, Maybe in a couple of rocks. Or maybe with something more like a classic, like a, like a Manhattan yeah. or a, um, like a old-fashioned. Rumble fashion, yeah. I but this, that. I feel like a Manhattan would go really good. Yeah. Just because it's like extra spicy. And that's spicy like peppery, it's spicy like cinnamon spices. Okay, so here's, here's a spice. Okay. I will Ooh. go the oak. Ooh. Oh my god, that is kind of close. Yeah? Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, sort of. Yeah, I remember the spice being a little bit more different than this. But I would say more on the natural cinnamon side. This is more like different spices spiced. Yeah, I think that's... Does that make sense? Yeah, I think that spice is like... Um... Like fake spice. <laughs> kind of like what I tell people, like per, like colognes. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's what that one smells like, which is delicious, don't get me wrong. And that's oak. Let's see the oak. Oak tannic though. <sighs> I don't get that. I don't think there is much oak tannic on this. Can you bring out the cast gauge? Sorry to be a pain. Cast gauge? Where is oh, Number five. five. This oak tannin, it's it's a little bit... It doesn't have much of a smell. It's, it's, kind of, it's a weird, it's a different smell. Have you had this one? Yes. So cast It's gauge. very, very casky. 
Or oaky. This might be a little bit too oaky for this rum. I think the longer it rests, the better, the better it gets. The the more the the flavors open up, the smoother it gets. I'm super excited to let this rest. Oh, the other thing he doesn't add is artificial coloring. So anything that you see here is from a legit charred oak that he chars himself too. Yeah. By the way, and I he believe did. this was what two years. Yes, yeah, two, years. two years. He meant to he meant to age this for one yeah. year. But due to the pandemic and you know how he had to switch his uh, his business model to making sanitizer, right? Hand sanitizer. Yeah. Is that what he said? It's uh, an amazing story. He sort literally opened up just before the pandemic, and then the pandemic hit, and yeah. he had to shut down. So he survived the pandemic. Yeah. yeah. It was just right at the beginning. But yeah. Anyway, so that allowed him to have this sit for more than the one year he planned, up uh, to two years. Uh, and that's what we get the color of the two years in the barrel. And like you said, I, I think those carib that Caribbean yeast that he's using to yeah Quite ferment awesome. this is so it gives it all his like these rums they taste so unique. That's cask aged smell. Like maybe a little, but I feel like this is like a this is more like a like a bourbon cask. I'd say at least a four year plus rum. You know, you know what that, that, uh, that, is it pepper or spice? To me, that smells like, like black pepper. Like yes. The, like the kernels of black pepper. Yeah. Not like when yeah, you, yeah, yeah. when you grind them, but like just the kernels. Yeah. You when, get a handful of kernels yeah. and you smell it. That's to me what it smells like. Yeah. That's what I was saying. Like that spice and this is spice, but this is more on the cinnamon side. So let's go crazy. I'm going to bring out some cinnamon and we'll see where we get. <laughs> okay. So he, the cinnamon magically appeared in our plate so we can huff it. Stop. Don't say that. Encouraging drug use, the fuck? Oh, it's cinnamon use. Okay, let me see that. I, I think more on the palate is the cinnamon, not on the nose. So it's the molasses and the very young oak. On the palate is the cinnamon and the spice. Well, is cinnamon a little spicy on the palate? It is, but amazing. Um, should we throw in some ice? Yep. Yeah. Let me have a couple of those. A couple? Yeah. I thought you said you could drink this neat. Now you want a couple of ice cubes? Yeah, I just want to see how, how it opens it up. But I'm excited to sit on this. Get, a change get the... some oxygen and I think this will be probably like... So you, you think it'll change the profile? The, yes, the, absolutely. The tasting profile yeah. of the rum if it sits I think it'll while. get more oaky and more sweet. Okay. Ice. I get more like a peppery, and I get more, um, give me that oak tannin. The oak was... The second one. Second. Oh no, I don't get it. I don't get the oak. Yeah. Your nose is certainly better than mine. So once you put the ice in there, I'm getting more of that oak tannin. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yum. With a little bit of ice. It's so smooth. It's a very smooth rum. If you like rum, whiskey, bourbon, this is a rum for you. This is very, very good. Amazing. And now, the star of the show, da, 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 the rum that I was waiting for to taste. So this rum has actually been out and I am the first and only channel to review and, or even taste this rum as far as I know. Yeah. Um, Pretty sure we're the first ones to taste it in camera or on camera. So super, super excited. I, I was so excited to try this at the tasting room. He had a very uh, special cocktail just designated for this new rum. My makeup is inspired by the sour cherries today. I got a little red bandana for hey. the sour cherries. So go ahead and do the honors. Oh, honors. 
You want to hear the pop? Is that what it is? Hell yeah. Ooh, that's a good one. So he, he uses the silver rum and the, the barrel aged rum. Yes. And he creates this one, right? Yeah. Okay. And then and what then else does he add to it? He adds sour cherries to this. It is interesting. Now, would you say this is a, uh, for a rum drinker, somebody that drinks rum, that likes to drink rum, would you say that this is a rum for that person? Yes, absolutely. Okay, why is that? By the way, remember that this distillery prides themselves on not adding fake flavors, coloring, nothing. So that beautiful, I would say, reddish brown that you see, this is all natural, like, him and his family buy pallets and pallets of fresh fruit. Him and his family hand peel everything, hand wash, pit it, prepare everything back there, and then make these beautiful spirits. If you don't like rum or like some other spirits like rum, gin, brandy, vodka, vodka. Any of those other spirits, they have amazing stuff in there. So don't miss out on going and visiting them at their tasting room. They do also do tours. So make sure you check out our vlog where you just see the tour for this amazing distillery. Yeah, and, and, and the owner and, and distiller is, is a super, uh, super cool guy. Very humble. Uh, super humble. Super humble, super cool guy. Cool story behind the whole thing. And don't forget and great spirits, which is the best because everything we've tried Including these so far have been top-notch amazing. He has a true passion For making very unique spirits. So I know this is a rum channel and I'm a rum enthusiast But we did decide to support the distillery because we tried such a unique award-winning vodka by the way This vodka was this the one that was on Forbes too? I believe so. Oh my god. If you or anybody you know likes vodka, they have a Florida basil, same thing, all natural ingredients. Okay, so let's try this one again. This is a very unique rum and I, there's really nothing that I could say uh, about this rum that would help you understand the way it tastes because of how unique this rum is. Um, if you like cherries, this is the rum for you. Uh, but sour it's, cherries. But it, yeah, it's sour not a sweet. Sour cherries, na natural it's, sour cherries. It's not a sweet cherry. It's got a sour cherry flavor to it. There's like a tartness in the back. It's so great. It's such a great rum. Yeah, there's literally nothing like this. I, I've never out had anything there. like this yet. Which, by the way, guys, please, please, please make sure you're subscribed. I'm gonna be giving away a bottle of this. It is open to international people. I will be mailing you this bottle. This is your bottle, okay? Fresh, brand new, ta-da! Closed bottle. Closed bottle just for you. Full 750 milliliters shipped from Florida to you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and comment down below. I wanna hear if you wanna be in for this running. Let me know down below. Hit the bell sign too in case you want to be alerted if you want to get in on this uh, giveaway. For sure. Cheers. So, let's try this again. This is a very... It's it's beautifully colored. To me it looks like a like a burgundy. Yeah. No, no, flav no uh, flavors added to this. Yeah, again, no sugar, yeah. no artificial colors, flavorings, or anything, any sugar, right? Yep. Yeah. That cherry smell, the sour cherry smell is so prominent. There's nothing you can explain this smell. It, it, it's and like, it's spicy. It's like a peppery spicy. I mean, we're gonna add ice to this, but you don't need it. At all. You don't need to add ice to this. At this all. is a sipping rum, straight out of the bottle, run right into your glass all night long, not a problem, right? Yeah, and, and when we say cherry, I don't think I can emphasize how unique this is as far as, it's a, it's a sour 
cherry. Yes. It's not a sweet cherry. No. It's not an artificial flavored cherry. Nope. It's very unique. This is another bottle, by the way. This is why I'm giving this away. I always say the best rum is the rum shared with friends. And my rum family, you guys are part of my rum family, so I have to share this with you. This one also, you cannot find anywhere. You cannot find it in Total Wine and Boca, like the rest of his bottles. Yeah. This one only at the distillery, he's in the tasting room. Yeah, he's not. I don't think he's going to be selling this at the liquor store. Because he doesn't, I don't think he's going to be making a large enough batch to uh, to sell it at, at, uh, at Total Wine. Yeah, the other thing is that uh, there's large difficulties in finding fresh fruit that they order and gather in the palate and then make these beautiful spirits. So yeah, this is very, very unique, one of a kind. Yeah, and it's a lot of it, right, to make it. He was mentioning it's a lot of fruit to make this stuff, so kind of hard to find now during the pandemic, which we still have. So, you know, constraints are still out there. Ready to add, add some ice to this bad Absolutely. boy? Color is amazing too. It's such a nice dark color, uh, obviously from the cherries. So he mixes the silver rum. The silver rum. He also mixes the oak aged rum. The barrel aged rum. And then he makes it with this. Yeah, he cherries. adds the cherry. And I think he said he added spices. And to me, he was making fun of me that day. But to me, this one doesn't taste like cinnamon. It tastes like cardamom. I don't know. It tastes like cinnamon to me. You want to bring out the cardamom? <laughs> so we'll be right back. And we're back. We got the cardamom out. And I'm going to give it to the professional here. So she Not can... a professional, rum enthusiast. Is it? Now I got, I, I, I feel like I am, uh, I'm not at my uh, forte here by smelling something and getting the taste out of it. I need to practice more, I guess. Okay, so. Once we put the ice, it took out the cardamom smell, but you get the cardamom taste on the palate. We should have done this neat. Okay. Okay. I, I can, I can, I can, <laughs> okay, I'll give it to you. I can okay, see, okay, I can okay. see okay. it's in there. Okay, I can okay, see okay. it's in there. Now let me taste it. Maybe it's in the taste as well. No, that's what I said. When we put, before we put the ice, I could sense it on the nose. Now that we put the ice, I don't sense it on the palate. Yeah. I don't sense it on the nose. I can say that that's in there. Okay. I, I'll, Thank I'll give you. it to you. Is it just me or is it getting a little hazy? It is getting hazy, but I think it's the ice. You think it's the ice? Yeah. Hmm, that's Did, interesting. So he has a, I think he said like a seven. The column still has like seven plates. Uh. And the vodka, if you're picky with your vodka, he cleans the impurities with carbon, which, or charcoal, charcoal, sorry, charcoal, which is amazing too. I think he filters it 11 times in charcoal. It's insane, it's insane. So even his vodka, I prefer rum, but even his vodka was amazing. But it, I think- It is getting a little cloudy. Yeah. See? But it's with the ice. Yeah, that's with the ice. But, but still. But it's still amazing, delicious. Okay, so are we gonna make it official? Well, I what think I am. This bottle is treasure chest approved. Nice. Congratulations on your new ch treasure chest approved bottle. This is amazing, guys. Same thing. The gray is from the floor in the distillery. He has the little uh, screws on the back, which is amazing. He has some very cool like cherry designs on the background. We love, 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 love the fact that his family is completely involved with the bottling. If you look at the vlog, they help bottle. They hand stamp these bottles. This looks very vintage, very retro, which I absolutely love. Yeah. The lion from the bridge in, um, in Budapest is right here. I love that he changes the coloring based on the ingredients. So this one has red, the basil, vodka has the beautiful green on the lion, on the edges, on the labeling, just those little details that you can truly tell 
what passionate individuals you're dealing with. We were so impressed. And the attention to detail also goes a long way. Well, welcome back. If you were here for the review, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so I can welcome you on board. If you want to stick around to see us make some delicious cocktails with this new treasure chest approved rum, stay tuned. Okay, and we're back. So today we're making old fashions. Would you like an old fashioned with regular bitters or chocolate bitters? Hmm. Uh, actually, I'll let you pick. Since you are the drink maker, why don't you give me a surprise? Oh, I'm, I'm the bartender today. She is. So, old fashions are pretty simple. The only reason I'm kind of thinking of what I'm going to do is because I brought out the aromatic bitters, which is what I thought you were going to go with, but I wanted the chocolate bitters because chocolate and cherry is yeah. really, really nice. Okay. So why don't we do one of each? Perfect. And we try both. Um, does, uh, does this drink have uh, simple syrup? It does, but today we're going to use demerara syrup. Ooh, demerara syrup. Fancy. Okay. So we did discuss before this that we were going to use the hickory chips, mm -hmm. which we think will bring a nice smoky <laughs> flavoring to this. Yeah. So old fashions, very simple. I'll put the recipe down uh, in the description, but it is one and a half ounces of the liquor. And he actually made these amazing yeah, old fashions in the tasting room. Good. All of his drinks were great. Yeah, I tried the mojito. He made it with the silver rum. Yeah. And that was very good too. And I'm just gonna do half an ounce. <laughs> and now, just a little splash of the Woodford Reserve chocolate bitters, which are my new favorite. Mm. I also made an old fashioned for my brother in the last video, and he was absolutely in love. I'm gonna go easy on the chocolate this time, because okay. we're not such sweet fans as my brother. So, you know, just a little couple drops. And then we're going to use the Smoke Top by Middleton Mixology. This is the one that I actually won. So I am a lucky girl. <laughs> Which came in an amazing little pack. It's so amazing. This little Smoke Top, I'm obsessed. If you want to go ahead and get your Smoke Top below, make sure you use my affiliate uh, link down below. I really appreciate the support. Trust me, I do not put codes down below unless I actually use the products. Super easy to use. We have a very small house. This basically takes very, very little space. And every time we have people over, does it not like super impress them with yeah, them when amazing. they make these? People love this. You know, it's a nice little flair, a little show like for it. the cocktail. I like it, it gives it some flavor. This is a beautiful new smoke top. Wow, the hickory doesn't burn as uh as fast or? as fast as the as the sherry chips. So as I always say, I love letting the liquor and all the mixture soak in that smokiness. If you have somebody that's not a big fan of the smokiness, then definitely don't do this for them. Ooh. Oh my god, splashed everywhere. Splish splish. That hickory smells so good. So good. Can't wait to taste it. Okay, so try this one. I'm gonna go ahead and work on the other one. And this time we're gonna use the aromatic bitters, which are these. Just a little, little splash of that. And now I'm gonna go ahead and smoke this again. By the way, if you see my t-shirt, when you say parse, I say... Rum. Good. <laughs> you remember, this is from the Rum Festival. If you have not seen that vlog, I'm going to put the card up here, the link above us. Um, the festival was so much fun. We had such a blast yeah. meeting everybody. And Barce Rum was our favorite, honestly. was our number one, so definitely check them out. Let me try this. That is so good. Uh, yes. That is <laughs> so that good. No. Here, let's switch it. 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 Switch
Because I want to try the chocolate bitters. I mean, the orange does bring a different, the oils kind of bring a different yeah. smell and, and taste, but you can enjoy this just as much with the without. Crazy, I can't even tell the difference. Yeah, they're quite alike. <laughs> but I think it's because of the sour cherries. I'm going to do a little a, bit more of chocolate. It's a delicious different taste on the sour cherries and it's it's kind of prominent the taste so it's hard to it's hard to like throw another strong flavor and taste in there to overpower the cherry the sour cherry that is true i agree oh but that's so amazing it's very good thank you so much for being on my channel again i so appreciate it you're welcome happy new year happy new year to many many more and happy birthday to you it's your oh, birthday thank next you. week yeah. yeah. I'm excited. We're heading up to Gasparilla. Hell yeah. Hopefully I'll get to um, see some of you guys over there. Yeah, see some of you guys, especially John Bullshark. I'll put his information down below. He's a huge shark advocate. We love diving and sharks, so definitely check out his uh, handmade shark safe, very cool metal shark teeth. Cool. You can definitely buy it on his website. They're amazing. Um, and I look forward to the next rum. Absolutely. Cheers. Cheers.